Hey bougie, click. Are you too nice? Are your standards high for yourself and low for others? One of the primary issues with being too nice is the tendency to prioritize others' needs over one's own. Nice people might struggle to assert their needs and boundaries, leading others to take advantage of their kindness. However, keeping high standards for yourself and others reflect a strong sense of self-respect and confidence. Women who maintain high standards are less likely to tolerate disrespect or mistreatment, which helps them build healthier and more fulfilling relationships. Nice guys finish last, so like Drake said, be nice for what? Be nice for what? The word nice originally comes from the Latin word necius, meaning ignorant or not knowing which evolved through Old French to its current meanings. The evolution of the word nice is quite fascinating. Here's a more detailed look. The word nice originates from the Latin word necius, which means ignorant or not knowing. This term was derived from the verb nessire, meaning to not know. The word transitioned into Old French as nice, where it retained a similar meaning of foolish or silly. By the time it entered Middle English, the word nice began to take on a broader range of meanings, including foolish, wanton, shy, and reserved. Over the centuries, the meaning of nice continued to evolve. By the 18th century, it had come to mean pleasant, agreeable, or kind, which are the primary meanings we associate with the word today. Being too nice is often touted as a virtue, but it can also lead to significant drawbacks in various aspects of life. While kindness and empathy are essential traits for fostering positive relationships and creating a harmonious society, excessive niceness can result in personal and professional disadvantages. From compromising one's own needs to enabling negative behavior in others, the consequences of being overly accommodating highlight the importance of balancing kindness with assertiveness and self-respect. The phrase, nice guys finish last often suggests that people who are kind, considerate, and unassertive may get overlooked or taken advantage of compared to more assertive or aggressive individuals. Nice people might struggle to assert their needs and boundaries, leading others to take advantage of their kindness. In competitive environments, kindness can sometimes be mistaken for weakness, making it harder for nice people to be taken seriously. One of the primary issues with being too nice is the tendency to prioritize others' needs over one's own. This can lead to a lack of self-care and burnout, as individuals who are excessively nice may feel compelled to say yes to every request or demand, even when it is detrimental to their own well-being. This behavior often stems from a fear of disappointing others or being perceived as selfish. However, consistently putting others first can result in neglecting one's own physical, emotional, and mental health, leading to stress, exhaustion, and resentment. It is crucial for individuals to recognize the importance of setting boundaries and prioritizing self-care to maintain a healthy balance between helping others and taking care of themselves. Furthermore, being too nice can inadvertently enable negative behavior in others. When individuals are overly accommodating, they may become easy targets for manipulation and exploitation. People who consistently acquiesce to others' demands may find themselves taken advantage of by those who seek to benefit from their kindness. This can create a cycle where the overly nice individual is repeatedly subjected to unfair treatment, while the manipulator continues to exploit their generosity without facing any consequences. In professional settings, this dynamic can result in an imbalance of workload with the excessively nice person shouldering more responsibilities without receiving appropriate recognition or compensation. It is essential for individuals to develop assertiveness skills and learn to say no when necessary to prevent being taken advantage of and to encourage fair and respectful interactions. Another significant drawback of being too nice is the potential for diminished self-esteem and self-worth. When individuals consistently prioritize others' needs and suppress their own desires, they may begin to internalize the belief that their own needs and opinions are less important. This can lead to a lack of confidence and a diminished sense of self-worth, as the overly nice person becomes accustomed to seeking validation from others rather than recognizing their own intrinsic value. Additionally, constantly striving to please others can create a sense of dependency on external approval, making it difficult for the individual to make decisions or assert themselves without fearing judgment or rejection. 
Building self-esteem and self-worth requires individuals to acknowledge and honor their own needs and to recognize that their value is not solely determined by their ability to please others. In social and professional environments, being too nice can also hinder one's ability to achieve goals and advance. In the workplace, for example, individuals who are overly accommodating may be perceived as pushovers or lacking in leadership qualities. This perception can limit opportunities for career advancement and professional growth, as assertiveness and the ability to make tough decisions are often valued traits in leadership roles. Similarly, in social situations, excessively nice individuals may struggle to assert their opinions or stand up for themselves, leading to a lack of respect from peers and an inability to form authentic connections. Developing assertiveness and the ability to advocate for oneself is crucial for achieving personal and professional success and for building meaningful and respectful relationships. Being too nice can impact romantic relationships negatively. Unfortunately, there are situations where men take advantage of nice women in relationships for different reasons. Here are some explanations for why this might occur. Emotional support, some men rely heavily on women for emotional support, without reciprocating. This can leave women feeling drained and unappreciated. Household responsibilities, it's not uncommon for women to take on the majority of household chores and childcare, sometimes without adequate help or appreciation from their partners. Financial gain, in some cases, men might use women for financial support, expecting them to cover expenses or provide a certain lifestyle. Social status, some men might use relationships to boost their social status, choosing partners who enhance their image or reputation. Manipulation and control, unfortunately, manipulation and control can be tactics used to keep women in a relationship. This can include emotional manipulation, gaslighting, or other forms of psychological abuse. Sexual gratification, some men might prioritize their own sexual needs over their partners, using the relationship primarily for physical satisfaction. Recognizing these behaviors is crucial for maintaining healthy and balanced relationships. It's important to set boundaries and ensure that both partners are contributing equally and respectfully. Here are some ways you can be taken advantage of for being too nice in romantic relationships. Neglecting personal needs, when women prioritize their partner's needs over their own, they might neglect their own well-being. This can lead to feelings of resentment and burnout. Lack of boundaries, being overly accommodating can result in weak or non-existent boundaries. This makes it easier for partners to take advantage of their kindness and generosity. Emotional manipulation, some partners might exploit a woman's niceness by using emotional manipulation tactics, such as guilt-tripping or gaslighting, to get what they want. Unequal effort, in relationships where one partner is too nice, the other might put in less effort, leading to an imbalance. This can result in the nice partner doing most of the emotional and physical labor. People-pleasing, constantly trying to please others, can result in losing one's sense of self. It can also lead to being taken for granted or not being respected. Attracting the wrong partners, being too nice can sometimes attract partners who might take advantage of this trait. This can lead to unhealthy or even abusive relationships. Suppressed emotions, avoiding conflict to maintain a nice persona can cause suppressed emotions, which might eventually lead to bigger issues in the relationship. Suppressed opinions, women who are too nice might suppress their true thoughts and feelings to avoid conflict. This can lead to a lack of authenticity and genuine connection in the relationship. Dependency, excessive niceness can foster an unhealthy emotional dependency on the partner making it difficult to leave even when the relationship is not fulfilling or healthy. Lack of authenticity, overniceness can prevent genuine connections. Authenticity is crucial for deep, meaningful relationships, and being too nice can sometimes mask one's true feelings and desires. It's important to strike a balance between kindness and assertiveness. Setting clear boundaries, communicating needs, and ensuring mutual respect can help prevent being taken advantage of in relationships. Being too nice might lead a woman to accept less than she deserves, like situationships, instead of a real relationship. Situationships often involve less commitment, which can be appealing to men who are not ready for a serious relationship. 
This allows them to enjoy the benefits of companionship and intimacy without the responsibilities of a committed relationship. Men have more control in situationships because they can set the terms and decide when to end the relationship. This sense of control can be appealing, especially if they are not looking for a long-term commitment. Situationships offer more flexibility, allowing men to focus on other aspects of their lives, such as career or personal interests, without feeling tied down by relationship obligations. Some men might prefer situationships because they can avoid deep emotional vulnerability. These relationships can provide physical and emotional benefits without the risk of getting too emotionally attached. Situationships allow men to keep their options open, potentially dating multiple people without the exclusivity that comes with a committed relationship. Being too nice in friendships can sometimes lead to women being taken advantage of as well. Here are some ways this can happen. Difficulty saying no, when you're always agreeable and rarely say no, friends might start to expect you to always be available or willing to help, even when it's inconvenient for you. Unequal effort, if you're always the one reaching out, making plans, or offering support, the friendship can become one-sided. This can lead to feelings of being undervalued and taken for granted. Emotional dumping, friends might use you as an emotional outlet, constantly sharing their problems without reciprocating or offering support in return. This can be emotionally draining. Financial exploitation, being overly generous, such as always picking up the tab or lending money, can lead to financial strain and feelings of being used. Lack of respect for boundaries, friends might push your boundaries, knowing that you're unlikely to push back. This can lead to situations where you feel uncomfortable or taken advantage of. Taking advantage of your time, friends might expect you to drop everything to help them, not respecting your time and commitments. It's important to set boundaries and communicate your needs clearly to maintain healthy and balanced friendships. Being kind and supportive is wonderful, but it's equally important to ensure that your kindness is not being exploited. Being nice is generally a good trait, but sometimes it can go too far and negatively impact your well-being. You often agree to do things you don't want to do because you don't want to disappoint others. You prioritize others' needs over your own, often at your own expense. You go out of your way to avoid disagreements, even if it means compromising your own values or needs. You apologize frequently, even when it's not your fault. You struggle to set and maintain personal boundaries, leading to feelings of being overwhelmed or taken advantage of. You crave approval and validation from others, often feeling anxious if you don't receive it. You rarely voice your own thoughts or ideas, especially if they might cause disagreement. You often feel resentful or exhausted because you're always putting others first. Constantly putting others' needs before your own can lead to burnout and chronic stress. You may start to feel resentful towards others because you feel taken advantage of or unappreciated. You might neglect your own needs and well-being, leading to physical and emotional health issues. Over time, you might lose sight of your own goals, interests, and desires because you're always accommodating others. Being too nice can attract people who take advantage of your kindness, leading to imbalanced and unhealthy relationships. You might struggle to make decisions because you're overly concerned about pleasing everyone else. Despite your efforts to make others happy, you might feel unfulfilled and dissatisfied with your own life. You may feel guilty or selfish when you try to prioritize your own needs. It's important to recognize these signs and take steps to balance kindness with self-respect. It is also worth noting that being too nice can sometimes lead to a lack of respect from others. When individuals are overly accommodating and consistently put others' needs before their own, they may be perceived as lacking in self-respect or conviction. This perception can result in others taking them less seriously or failing to consider their needs and opinions. Respect is a fundamental component of healthy relationships and it is important for individuals to assert themselves and demonstrate self-respect to earn the respect of others. This can be achieved by setting clear boundaries, communicating assertively, and standing up for one's own needs and values. Sometimes pretty women have to be mean. Attractive women often receive a lot of attention, some of which can be intrusive or unwelcome. Being mean can be a way to deter persistent or inappropriate advances. 
A mean or assertive attitude can help establish clear boundaries, signaling that certain behaviors or comments are not acceptable. Some women might act mean to avoid being taken advantage of or manipulated. This can be especially relevant in social or professional settings where their looks might lead others to underestimate their capabilities. Attractive women might face jealousy or hostility from others. Being mean can be a defensive response to protect themselves from negative social dynamics. In situations where they feel vulnerable, being mean can give women a sense of control and power, helping them navigate potentially threatening environments. What do you think? Are you too nice? Let me know in the comment section. Stay bougie.